In this presentation, let's take a look at how claims-based authentication and federated trusts work together to provide internal Active Directory users access to an application running in Microsoft Azure. So to begin, we have an identity provider over here on this side, which is your on-premise Active Directory. And this is no different than any other Active Directory environment. Users simply log in and get authenticated by their domain controllers, which establishes their identity. But we also have this additional service installed here, Active Directory Federated Services, uh, which is a security token service. It takes that identity information and packages it up into a security token that can be sent out over the internet and processed by a separate directory service. So that's what we're seeing here. The security token as an outgoing claim is sent across the internet. All federated trusts operate over the internet because of course, we're not trying to access a secure application within our own environment. The secure application runs in a different directory service. So that security token is accepted by the application provider, which in this case is of course, Microsoft Azure. So from the perspective of the application provider, it's an incoming claim but from the perspective of the Active Directory environment, it's an outgoing claim. So it's still just identity information, but you are claiming to be this particular identity. So the application provider accepts that and then determines if, of course, this is an authenticated request. And if so, it will grant that request access to the application. So Federation Services itself is this security token service. It simply creates the token, which can then be sent out and processed by the application provider. So your Active Directory Federated Services servers authenticate the users against your Active Directory domain controllers. You still have to be authenticated by some type of entity. So the protection needs for your Active Directory federated servers are effectively equivalent to those of your domain controllers because it still contains that user information, that identity. But this presents a little bit of a challenge because we're operating over the internet. Federated services needs to be internet accessible. Domain controllers are virtually never internet accessible. So we need to implement a little more security because this identity information is of course crossing the internet. So this is where we typically see a web application proxy or WAP. WAP protects the Active Directory Federated Services servers. Proxies are placed in a perimeter network, like almost all internet facing servers. There's, there's usually something in a perimeter network to accept incoming requests. It does exactly that and it will redirect the authentication request to the Active Directory Federated Services servers. And also, if there are multiple applications running on multiple servers, then it will also redirect them to the appropriate server where the application that this user is trying to access resides. So it provides two services, the redirection of the authentication request and the application request to the appropriate server. But of course, that's only applicable if you have multiple servers hosting multiple applications. But in either way, it's still a single point where all authentication requests are accepted and then redirected appropriately to determine if the authentication request is, uh, is acceptable or legitimate. And if so, it will then grant them access to the appropriate application. And this gives you that additional layer of security to help protect the overall federated services environment.